everyone, John here from Four Brewers. I'm back with another beer. Today we're going back to the brewery out of Placentia, California, and they have released an Imperial Stout in a can, which is pretty amazing. I mean, I knew that they were officially embracing cans, but this is like a new level. So uh, this is called You Asked For It. <laughs> this is, that's a great name, by the way. Uh, this is a 16.2% alcohol by volume Imperial Stout. Uh, bourbon barrel aged uh, with vanilla. Even the label, it's really cool. Like uh, if you are familiar with the brewery's bottle labels, uh, the label on here is similar. Like, of course you have the colors on the can, but the actual label itself, like that's outlined in white, it's similar to what they put on cans and it's like little, little uh, you know, talking balloon kind of things on there. So really cool that, again, it blows my mind that we're drinking an Imperial Stout out of a can. I can totally see Black Tuesday uh, coming in a can, uh, especially this is 2% lower than Black Tuesday, it's gonna happen. So let's open this up and check it out. Well, that's infected. Okay, well, I admit that I did ask for um, the brewery to start canning their beer. I didn't ask for that beer to explode out of the can. So uh, that's not a good sign, generally speaking. Um, when it does that, it, it's usually a sign of infection, um, to be honest. It doesn't smell infected, it doesn't taste infected. This was canned on the 7th of August and today is the 18th. I don't know, I gotta look online and see what people are saying about this. Um, Cause if they're all infected, this was a very expensive can of beer. I think it, wow. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was expensive. So that being said, the head burned away fairly quickly. Um, it's almost like cola. I definitely think there's something wrong with this beer um, because it should at least have like some kind of froth on the head. And as you can see, this has nothing. This is, it's not still, it just can't maintain uh, a head. It has no head retention. So uh, I'm gonna barrel through this, no pun intended, and uh, see what this is like. Cause I paid good money for this and I had to clean up the mess in this uh, studio. So I'm going for it. So let's see what it smells like. That smells like a typical uh, brewery uh, barrel aged beer, to be honest. Um, it's got a nice uh, bourbon nose on it. Um, it's a lot of chocolate, it's got some heat on it. Most definitely at 16.2%, so I would expect it to have some heat on it. I get a lot of toffee notes on there too. Um, caramel toffee. Uh, those I think are bigger than the chocolate notes I'm getting, but this is mostly bourbon. Yeah, bourbon and barrel basically. Not a whole lot of wood on the nose. Um, and this is made with uh, vanilla. So you would think there'd be a little more vanilla on the nose, but I'm not really getting a whole lot of vanilla on the nose. It's very well balanced vanilla. Like when you smell something like Fundamental Observation from Bottle Logic Brewing, that is a vanilla bomb, which I love. Um, but uh, this is nice and balanced and subdued. So let's uh, see what it tastes like. I really think it's infected. Uh, it's, it's on its way. I mean, you're not getting any acidic or acetic notes on it, but uh, it's really thin. Uh, it, it's got a bit of a mouthfeel on it, but um, I mean, it's so overcarbonated um, from what I think is infection that it kind of burns while you're drinking it and add the 16.2% alcohol to that. It just, it's not a pleasant experience. So, um, but it, like I said, you're, you're not getting any kind of uh, tart flavors on it. Um, aside from the mouthfeel and that burn, yeah, you get, you know, chocolate notes. Um, the bourbon comes through very well. Not getting a whole lot of vanilla still. I mean, there's definitely something wrong with this. Um, I really hope all my cans aren't like this. Um, and I guess there's no way of knowing. So, uh, I mean, I hate to release a video like this because I feel like it's a waste of time, but it's uh, worth seeing this because this does happen um, from time to time with beers. You know, bugs get in there and they take over and they ferment inside the can or the bottle. 
And that's why you get that excess, uh, uh, that's why it explodes basically, because it's producing all this CO2, because CO2 is a byproduct of um, yeast or bacteria consuming sugars. So um, whatever got in there made all that carbonation. Uh, if it's not infected and it's just a problem with the beer, it's not a very good beer, um, which I'm sad to say. Uh, I did get their other beer, uh, Bakery, I think it's called. I'm going to do a video on that too. Hopefully that's not infected. I, I doubt it is, but um, hopefully this is just a one-off thing. And uh, yeah, so brewery, please don't stop canning your beer uh, because this is awesome. And hopefully this was something that happened um, before it was canned and not an, a, re a result of canning the beer. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching the video and watch the next video for the next brewery beer. It's another uh, stout in a can. So that should probably, it'll probably be better because it's, it's another brewery beer that's in a can. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.